Following a landmark general election victory on February 16, 2015, your team unity government was born, bringing together the People's Labour Party, the People's Action Movement that I have the pleasure of leading, and the Concerned Citizens Movement in an unprecedented coalition that demonstrated a commitment to put aside partisan political interest in favor of the greater good. A greater good to build a stronger, safer future for all people in St. Kitts and Nevis on which to build their hopes and aspirations. That solemn promise has been delivered through Team Unity's track record of reconstruction, recovery, advancement, and sustainable development of our people, our economy, our communities, and our governance structure. Objectives I would have pledged to put into effect in my letter on page six of our inaugural Team Unity Manifesto, Prosperity for All. Today, just now three days of our fifth anniversary as a government, we, we reaffirm our determination to keep our beloved federation moving forward for another five years. In this way, we can lock the gains made to keep our streets safer, build better housing, create more and new jobs, provide real opportunities for our youth, and improve the standard and quality of life for all of our people. Working with the people of our Twin Islands, your Team Unity Government is delivering a new style of leadership that has set St. Kitts and Nevis in the right direction. Our Federation now has a safer, stronger future to look forward to with real opportunities for all. Five short years ago, that future did not look so bright and hope was in short supply. Labor had become comfortable in power with a seething arrogance that the party and its leader would forever be the panacea to every ill our people continue to endure on the local, regional, and international stages. Of course, that record is clear that labor failed to create better conditions for our people. Our streets were tense. The quality of housing was poor. We were an international embarrassment. Labor's IMF debt meant we were sending money overseas rather than investing in our own people and our infrastructure was crumbling around us. We were heading in the wrong direction with Douglas as Labour's leader trying to navigate the ship of state with a broken compass and a stubborn rudder. Team Unity committed to putting our people and our federation first by arresting the fall in living standards and reversing the decline of our economy. Thanks be to the Almighty that you, the people, chose to put your trust in Team Unity and we are delivering on our promises to you. Today, our economy is stronger. A record number of people have real jobs. Over 3,000 people have received housing support and our communities are getting safer from crime. Having repaid Labour's IMF debt, we are able to invest in providing our people with a better life. The relationship between St. Kitts and Nevis has strengthened. In fact, the relationship between our sister islands can be described as the best it has been since our attainment of independence in September 1983. Today, we are one people, our federation, one federation, the way it should be, the way it should continue to be. The monthly transfer of resources for budget support to the Nevis Island Administration has been established and has been achieving real practical results on the ground. VAT has been removed from food, medicine, 
and funeral expenses. Bigger, better, and more affordable houses are being built. More people have work than ever before, especially our women folk. Tourist numbers are at record levels and our streets are safer. In December 2018, we introduced the Poverty Alleviation Program with just over 4,000 beneficiaries and realized a total payout of 22 million for the first 10 months of 2019. For four consecutive years, your team unity government has paid an extra month's salary to our civil servants and all employees at our statutory corporations. Citizens and residents, in short, we kept our promises after the last election. We will do so again. We have come so far, but there is more still to do. We are on the right path but we cannot take progress for granted. The gains we have made must continue to share for all for the good of our people. Today, we will commit ourselves to team unity and to delivering a stronger, safer future for another five years. In keeping with the promise we made to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, we will approach this election under a team unity banner with CCM contesting seats in Nevis and PAM and PLP contesting seats on St. Kitts. As a united force, Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris has the support of myself and the candidate and supporters of the People's Action Movement. He has our support to lead the Team Unity Movement through the general elections and to serve as Prime Minister. The unified relationship between the Nevis Island Administration and the federal government can only be maintained under a Team Unity administration, leading to a safer and better future for both islands. By continuing to work together in this unified manner, your Team Unity government will keep building better lives for all of our people. Now is not the time to turn back. In spite of the efforts at rebranding, labor has not changed. They are the same old party with the same old leader waiting to bring back the same old policies that led to IMF debt, inadequate housing, lack of real jobs, dangerous streets, and the absence of genuine hope. We cannot clean up their mess in just five short years but we are putting people before politics and making a start. We are performing. We have achieved so much, but the best is still to come. Our nation is on a path where our people feel safer, have more opportunities, and our finances are more stable. We did not get to where we are by accident. We got here because a group of individuals putting the people before politics, before party, and before personal interest. We work together for the betterment of both islands. Forward ever with team unity, backwards never. May God continue to bless St. Kitts and Nevis. Thank you.